Kelly here. We have uh, three different parts here, outdoor equipment. We have the CLT-6, we have the BBC-8, the X version, and we have the CLT-4NR. NR cleverly stands for no refrigeration. There's no compressor. The BBC is a cart with cold plates. The CLT is a cart with no cold plates built in. Come on around here and you'll see the difference. If you look at these with a photo, they kind of look like the same cart, but when you see them from the end, you'll see that the CLT series, because it has no cold plates, it's slightly slimmer. It's 28 inches versus 30. Same interior capacity as what the BDC-8 has. Again, with Nelson cabinets and carts, Interiors here are all stainless steel on all our carts, all our all our carts, all our freezers are stainless steel. Okay, so briefly the CLT set very very similar to the cold plate cart, but is a lighter duty uh, cabinet. It just doesn't have cold plate for those that don't want the weight or the expense of cold plate. This is about five or six hundred dollars less money than a cold plate freezer. Now. This freezer has the same compressor, it gets cold, and very well insulated, three plus inches of insulation. This cart goes down to 35 below zero, it gets cold very, very fast, and it'll hold below zero for a few hours with a load without any cold plate, just by virtue of being so well insulated. It's not going to last you all day, like a BDC-8 cart will last all day without electricity. If you Slipping along a generator, it'll work just fine. Again, it's a lower cost option, lighter weight, about 100 pounds less than the BDC series. Okay, so we do have these reusable cold packs, and we have them at various temperatures. We have them uh, ice cream temperatures, we have them for Italian ice temperatures, slush temperatures, and beverage temperatures. And because this freezer gets so cold, it can freeze these, these cold packs. Uh, use two, three, or four, depending on what temperatures you're using, you have to freeze them. I don't know, can we pick this sloshing noise up? When it's frozen hard, there's no sloshing noise. It's portable dry ice, it's portable ice. Okay, so again, there's no compressor step in here. There's no refrigeration. Again, very well insulated. Three plus inches of poured urethane foam. And these are the replaceable cold packs. Difficult with ice cream, you have to have a good cold minus 20 degree freezer to freeze the cold pack for ice cream. If you have a good commercial quality minus 20 degree freezer, then you can freeze the, these portable cold packs that we use for ice cream. Most of, the, most of these we sell to people that sell Italian ices. With these four cold packs, I can have eight tubs of Italian ice, you see four, four stacked, set of cold packs, I'm out for 10 hours with no refrigeration, no generator, no extension cord, no anything. Reusable cold packs and my ices and I stay at good Italian ice temperatures for an entire selling day. For Ball Nelson carts again, we've got corners welded and polished. We don't cut corners on our corners, so to speak, okay? We know these things crash and we want things to stay together after multiple crashes. Base frame, Welded, height, no nooks and crannies. We also have our little bump bar. People say, what's this for? This is for crashing into things so you don't bend the heck out of your handlebar. We always make sure that this base frame, a nice solid piece of quarter inch wall tubing, crashes into things first. Same on the CLT6 with a compressor. We always want to be crashing here first before we crash into here. All right, so like this has our umbrella bracket over here. As you can see in the CLT, it's got an umbrella bracket in the center. But like all Nelson carts, we don't skimp on the wheels. We've got good natural rubber wheels, not vinyl. They don't get brittle in sunlight. They stay bouncy and resilient forever. And they bounce. And I do this all the time. You're going to do it all the time. It's not going to break anything. Ah, if you do it out of a truck, you might break something. but. Uh, they take a beating. Stainless rims around all the lid openings, welded stainless rims, last the life of the cabinet. You don't change gaskets on Nelson freezers or Nelson cars. So, 
all Nelson carts are shipped, handlebar, lock bar standard, and it has a little pocket to hold it, a little lanyard so you don't lose it. My kids are out of college, I don't need the spare parts business anymore. Hook it in, slide it over, and attach your pad lock. You're done. All right, so we have the CLT4NR to review. The CLT4NR, NR for no refrigeration. We can all remember that. The CLT6, a larger version, there is a CLT6NR, and there is a CLT4 that would have refrigeration. No compressor, useful, useful with the cold packs or dry ice, your choice. This has a refrigeration, can also be used with cold packs if you want to be out there for a long, long time. Again, with Nelson carts, Nelson equipment, we want to make sure, we want you to look for the NSF, the ETL for electrical safety, NSF for sanitation. You don't need shut down by the health department because your equipment is not listed. Even the lowly CLT4NR, NSF. There's no ETL with something that has no electricity, no compressor. And lastly, we want to, when we have a digital controller, we give you the instructions here on how to change the temperature in the control. It's quite simple. There's an instruction manual. We know nobody keeps instruction manuals, so we give you a label that you can read two years after you get the cabinet if you have to adjust temperatures.